Hi, I'm a bad gamer and this is my playthrough of Faster Than Light. This is a game that got a big Kickstarter back in. It's kind of a space simulator, simulation ship kind of game. It's, very sh it's a weird category of game. Let's, let's go. This is the ship that you play as. Well, it's the first ship. There's a li you get choice. This is the one you start off with. I've played it through a few times, so I've unlocked a few others. This one's the easiest to unlock. That's just reaching sector five, and you unlock that. Let's beat the boss at the end. <laughs> Haven't managed that yet. It's quite hard. But they've all got. They all start with different abilities and items and weapons but I'll just start on this one you also there's also three achievements you can unlock for each ship and if you unlock two of them you get a different layout of the room and it is pretty much another ship type you start off with three crew you can customize them all change the name change this to uh, got it. This can be... I don't know. Spock. Probably make it a guy. And... Yeah, that'll do. Be really nice. That's the outside of the ship. It's not the most best graphics you'll find in the game nowadays, but it worked. But any other kind of graphics would not make it look as good. It just wouldn't fit the style of the game. Inside, you'll see that you, know, you have different systems. This is the doors. There's security cameras, med bay, shields, weapons, oxygen, and engines, and give it a normal name, and weapons that you start with, shown down here. It gives you how much power they take to use, how long they take, charge, shots, damage, basic stats, missiles, weapons as well, but let's just start. There you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore the section before moving on to the next, but the rebels will be in pursuit, so be aware of their progress. Auto power will let you maintain a let a weapon maintain its target. So that's the basic story. Get to the end to carry the information. The way it works is you can move all your people around, put Troy on that and Scotty's got a gun, you know, Scotty can work on the end, the weapons, you don't really need it. This is the pilot bay, you always need someone, if you take them out, then you can't travel anywhere. Let's put him back on the bridge. This here is your fuel can, and you have your weapon and drone parts. You can get a dr you can buy a drone bay and special drones and then every time you use them it uses up a drone part you get like ones that shoot down missiles ones that attack the others and some that are just fix your ship without you needing people down here have your power supply that's your starting power supply and you can move them around take power off shields off the engines off oxygen you really shouldn't take anything cockroach and put some on weapons you can also move them back you can move back because then when if weapons get damaged you can't put as much power into them let's do that if weapons get damaged you can't put as much power into the weapon system and that gives you the order that they'll go offline and 
Or you can open all the doors, which you can use to, and you can also open the airlocks. Takes all the oxygen out of the room. You can keep open. You can use that to either starve fires, put them out, the fire starting the ship, or if you can keep the door locked, you can and the enemy ships board you, then you can suffocate them and they'll be easier to kill. But let's go. This star map is just you start here and then you have to try and get there. Pretty simple. You go through all the points, but as you move, the rebel fleet will approach from the left. So you can't just stay. Stay and go through all of the places. You have to act actively move because the rebel ships are really strong. They catch you. Let's just go there to start. Your ship is being held. We found you at last. Prepare to die. You go now. If you press space, you can pause the game and you can aim, sort out powers, power supply, aim your weapons. So if I click a laser, I can aim something to shoot at. So just aim at the weapons. And missile, aim at oxygen supply. What, and now, by unpause, each one will slowly charge. If you have someone working in the weapons area, they'll take less time to charge. Shot. There you go. That one went a bit quick. Now shields. Each ship has shields that you can upgrade bit by bit. And missiles have a lot. They still have one shield. If I fire a missile, missiles will go through the shields. Now that I've hit that, their shields are down. And if I take their engines. Now the laser will go straight through and the ship's gone. Every time you defeat a ship you get fuel, missiles, scrap. Sometimes you get drone parts instead of fuel or missiles. And then continue. Now scrap here, if you click on ship, here you can upgrade all your ship parts. You can upgrade your energy supply, means you can use more power at a time. You can upgrade your shields. Every two upgrades in your shields gives you an extra shield bar. Makes you your hardest hit. Upgrade your engines. Means you're harder to hit each. You have a higher chance of dodging and you can jump away quicker. Oxygen supply. You should really upgrade that once. Because at that level, all they have to do is hit it once and the oxygen supply on the whole ship goes down and you have to rush to fix it. Weapon control, that lets you use more power in your weapons at a time. So you can run more weapons or bigger weapons and mid bay speeds up healing. These don't require extra power to run. So you can just upgrade these without having to upgrade the reactor. That's piloting. If you upgrade that, then your autopilot allows you to evade some shots. Sensors. If you upgrade that the first time, you can see inside the ship, see where all the ship, other ship's crew are moving. And doors mean if you get boarded or if there's a fire, it takes longer for them for each to move to a different room. But for now, I will. Upgrade. Let's upgrade that so I can see. Next place. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. So here you have a tr you can attack it and try and get some fuel and some scrap. Maybe some mess up missiles or drone part, or you can avoid it and just move to the next place. Because it's the first place, most 
because it's the first sector most of the ships ain't that difficult to attack it. Automated so there's no crew to see. Now I can see it, that's an ion weapon there. Let's just uh, aim for the weapons with that. Shield with the missile. And wait, that is an ion weapon, which means whatever it hits, it will temporarily stop the system. So because that hit my shields, now my shields are down and won't load back up, but the shields ain't actually damaged, which means, and as this will run out, so, so there, but as that will run out, run down, my shields will come back up, for now I'll do that, just means I'll get hitless. See, now, that missile, they shot, has actually hit my pilot, so Spock is injured, and the piloting don't work, which means my engines won't charge. Let's just do that, and that. But slowly, yes. But he fixes it over time. If you put more people in, got 12 scrap. An investigator station. There was nothing there, so. Now, I'll move him to the med bay to keep them healed up. So when they get hit, they each of the subsystems can be damaged and they'll stop working or they'll take less power until until you have fixed them. So if they take out pilot in you can dodge very little. Take out weapons they can't shoot you as much. Take out shields, their shields go down, things like that. Over time though, the more they repair, see that is just starting there, uh, repair. Over time they'll get increased repair speed once they've repaired enough. Combat. Weapons, 10% faster charge. And you can see this by it. You can see the bars next to it get smaller once he's in the room. It don't matter how many people you move into the room because only one person can boost it at a time. So, now here, I'll go there after. Right, let's just go here first. Ah. The arrival at a beacon to find yourself dangerous close to a start, an automated rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. Okay. Now, this is a start, it is a random place where you happen to be next to a sun and because you're too close means solar flares happen, it gives you a warning and they start fires all over your ship which can be really bad because they can they'll damage your people, destroy systems and make it very hard to actually fight the other ship. Just put weapons, they have no shields though, so I can hit it a lot easier. Ah, that was a beam weapon, which is another type of weapon you can get. What it does is it gives, you can shoot it along a line and it will do damage to you, all the rooms along that line. Better weapons will be built. You get weapons that can take out four or five rooms at a time. Aim it right, you can probably take out a few more. And you can get others which will only be able to hit two, maybe three. But, for now, let's take Troy and have her try and put out that fire. Before it moves. There you go, solar flare. because that's a robot ship but there's no oxygen so all the fires go out straight away anyway. And if I open that and open them, I can actually ship explosive. 
So I get fuel, missile, scrap. Okay. Which way is it? Start of the room and the fire goes out. I'll do this one. Because I still have to wait for this to charge up. Now that fire's gonna close them doors. Actually, if you open all the doors inside, it speeds up the oxygen. Now this is a nebula. See, there's the rebel fleets coming in. Gives you a warning bar of where you should stay. That's where it will be next time. So if you're inside there, once you should move, then you'll be attacked by a rebel. Here is a nebula. If you go into a nebula, it's your... What's this? You jump into a nebula, you set by a plasma storm. You're my rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves into attack. Because I'm in a nebula, your sensors don't work. But there's also a plasma storm going on in the nebula. These are only found in nebulas. And they cause half your reactor to be knocked out, meaning a lot of your things stop working. So, luckily it's only taken out Red Bear and Shield, Shields ain't that lucky, but the oxygen's still going, close the doors, have her try and fix this, and sadly, every time you get hit, you lose whole points, when that reaches zero, you die. Your ship blows up. That's it. Now, I've taken out that. Because it's a robot ship, they'll slowly be repaired by themselves. I'm just checking here, make sure there's not a fire. Yep. Put her in the med bay. And now it's just a case of actually hitting the ship. Do that just to heal her up. Fuel drone parts and scrap. Yeah, move there. No ship. We also have crew. Can have up to eight people at a time and equipment. That's where you can sort out your weapons, what drones you're using, augmentations are. Things like, you, you can get one that allows you to shoot uh, straight away as soon as you come out so you don't have to wait for them to charge. And cargo holds, just holds the extra weapons and extra drones that you're not using and you can sell at a store. But for now, let's upgrade power. Use this other nebula. Put them on Mantis Hunting Grounds. This is a different type of ship. This is run by Mantises, which are one of the races you can play. These are all humans. Mantises are faster than humans. Oh no. They've got a, they've got a teleporter as well, so you'll see them in a sec. Put up shields. Try to think first. Any matter shields that have weapons. Mantises are faster and twice as effective as fighting. There you go. There's, there's one. Mallet. Move over in there. Now these will slowly fight. The problem is mantises are very good at fighting, but they are bad at repairing and stuff. I have two people, so let's do that. Yeah, now. So anything you damage will stay damaged. They are very slow at repairing anything. 
but they usually have teleporters and will board your ship and just attack your crew. Luckily this is the first sector so they'll only send over one but later in the game they send over two or three and they can be really hard to fight. For now, see look, because I'm in a nebula the warn it, they move ahead slower but let's go there. Black Market Hub, you receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military aid explosive, we'll pay you for them. Yeah, you can sell missiles. I've only got four of those, so I can't sell anything. For now, I want to find a store. Try and fix my ship. You come across a rebel or made scout ship between a civilian ship, weapons engaged. Help them, because you usually get stuff. Up. Normal plan, take out the weapons and shields. Luckily I dodged that. Because that's only one fire, I'm not bothered about that really, because my shield will stop it, but... Yeah, so... Nah. If I just aim at engines, we fire again. It's not much point, they can't go anywhere now. They're not going to fix any of it. So, we've got, yeah, we've got missiles, drone parts, and scrap. And the civilian ship ran away. So, they don't give me anything. Now, your jump leads to nothing but empty space. Wow, that's useful. Go here. Small military craft parachute and diamantis capturing up is on your receiver. All local human colonies have been punished by the Federation's transgression. Submit to processing. That doesn't sound good. Here you go. There's another. They're there, there, Engi. They are the opposite of Mantis. They can't fight very well but they will repair stuff very quickly. Now Mantis moves over. Send her in there and him. While I'm doing that. Uh, take out that. Then. Uh, first. Troy is low on health. So it's got you back there. There you go. And because if you take a run with people in, you can actually just kill them. Let's not use that. Not waste my missiles. You can get special weapons which only kill the crew. And if you kill all the crew you get more more rewards. Than just blowing the ship up. Got some, got some scrap now, so do that. Do that. And now I have an extra shield. Ah, stress, the stress beacon. If you find these, sometimes it's a trap, and sometimes it's people who need help. It appears your distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses are picking up a single life form. Go down to investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Invite him to join your crew. Take him home to his family. Invite him to join my crew. He yep. happily offers his services for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. And it's Charlie, the mantis. Let's put him on engines. Actually no, let's put him on weapons. Just because that's Scotty. Scotty's got he's gotta be working on the engines. That was really bad. <laughs> you arrived at the long range beacon on your FTL drive. Yeah. 
these are slaver ships. If you have enough scrap, you can buy a slave and join and free them join your crew. So you get an extra crew member. You can attack them or ignore them. And I'll attack them. Ah, there's the rock people. This one. They have extra health but move slower. And that's a drone. That just attacks anyone. If you board their ship, that drone will attack your crew members. And they're really good at fighting. Better than the Mantises. And... What the... That. Damage his weapons. See if I can hit his, take out his shields. There you go, it starts off. And rock people. Don't know why he moves because they are actually immune to fire. There you go, I don't know what I just did. Oh, I've only taken out. Take out the oxygen. We surrender. To, yeah, on occasion, just before you actually beat them, they'll surrender and offer you stuff. Sometimes it's more than you'll get when you destroy them, sometimes less. Usually with slavers though, if they offer, it's an extra crew member. Which I usually take, because you always need extra crew members. Even though there's nothing they can actually do at the moment. Put them on weapons. Now, they've almost catch up. Next this is all the sectors you're trying to get there. And you can choose your way between them. So I can either go up to the rebel controlled or down to the Zoltan controlled. That's hostile, that's civilian. That's hostile, so that means there's always going to be more fighting. And that's civilian, which just means there'll be less fighting. But there'll still be some. Let's go. Let's go rebels. This sector was bustling with activity just a few years ago. Now more than half their jump beacons have been destroyed. Many of the settlements have been abandoned and are patrol constantly. Sounds like fun! Straight into a nebula. They arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh condition of rebel scouts, it seems to be waiting. Ah, there's a drone. Combat drone. That will repeatedly just shoot shoot a laser at you and whittle down your shields. But first, turn off my missile. Turn oxygen back on. All they really do is they'll keep your shield down some of the time. And take out their missiles. Ah, I know. I'm being beaten up. I'm gonna have to see if I can retreat from this. <gasps> no, you go down. Can you fix the oxygen? So I'm not going to win this. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Uh, 
Alright, come on, come on. I'm on my stead. Get out of the nebula. And hope I'm not fighting anyone. You spot a small rebel ship in about that seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. He does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Avoid it, because I've been beaten up. Here we go. Now that's all done. Mm. Open all the doors. Try and get the oxygen filled back, filled back up. Get Scotty to repair this. Heal him. Apart from I'm on my, I'm a, lost a third of my health. Need to find a store. So he said, it's not personal, but we're under orders. Rebel ship's weapons go hot. Okay. Now beat them with that. That and that. Just send Charlie in. Because Charlie will win. Weapons are down. If you take it out oxygen, that's a really good idea because it forces them to move off repairing something else. Look at the engines, fuel, drone parts, scrap. Uh, that seems quite good, so I'll take that. And I need, I need to make sure I get scrap. After a moment, session, you are held by a loyalist set. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. That works. I don't want to upgrade anything at the moment. Ah, uh, they didn't look that good from before. Oh no, that's a beam. That's a beam drone, which will do damage if your shields go down, but if your shield, but won't go through your shields, and won't even damage them. As long as you've got one shield up, that's useless. However, they do like going off. And missiles here. Let's do that for now. There we go. Take out the shields. Investigate the station is empty again. Distress. Oh, all I want is a store. Let's go there. Can't be fighting people. I can be, I just don't want to. Oh, no help. Come on. Oh, that mess. Missiles have taken me out. That was a really bad choice. Don't know why I've done that. Just not waste my one missile. Here we 
we go. Fuel missile scrap. I've got enough so I can do that. Store. This is what I wanted. You see internet advertisements? Of course you do. Even in space. Now here you can buy fuel, missiles, drones. What I want to do is fix my ship. Now I've only got 20 left. You can buy new systems. Cloaking system. It means you can't be hit. They, their weapons don't even charge when you're cloaked. Teleporter and drones and then usually these two is a choice between systems, augments, weapons or crew. What's this whole beam? This beam is most powerful when targeting large empty sections of hull. So if you don't attack a system and you just take empty rooms it does double damage. but only does one damage each time, so it can't go through any shields. If they're strong enough, they can actually go through shields and just do less damage. But I can't afford any of them. So... Ship, can I even upgrade anything? Auto evasion, let's get that. See if there's anything in this station. Go straight for weapons. Don't really want to be taking any more damage. It's always missiles. Oh, that's a heavy one. Just taking out an entire shield. One. Yeah. And then. Just to like even up the rooms. Pew pew pew! You access the recent scans. Ah. That gives you this. This tells you which ones will have nothing. Or won't have a ship waiting for you. Distress. It also tells you. That's close to a nearby sun. So that means you'll get solar flares, that's an asteroid field. Which is you just get hit by asteroids all the time. And if you've got no shield you take loads of damage. Let's go to distress. Haha, <laughs> I knew someone pulled into a dastardly trap. It's a trap! It's a trap! Someone had to say that. Weapons. Federation Scout. They're shooting me already. I'm trying to save my missiles. The enemy ship appears to be powering its FTL, which is trying to escape. No, you're not. Ah, there. What I've done is cause a breach which, as you'll see, is slowly taking out all the oxygen. And if you have one of them in a fire in a different room, their oxygen supply gets really low very quickly. Now, let's go to the exit. You arrive in a sector and greet us by science which will wait by the beacon they have. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. Minus two fuel, give me one drone part. No, because I don't use drones. Well, I can't use drones at the moment. A small shot appears on the local radar. It turns out it's a very rebel. Ah, there's the cloak. As you see, my weapons don't even charge while they're cloaked. But there's two. So if I can take out their cloak, there we go. 
knocks out their ion cannon. Not the one I wanted to knock out, but anyway. There you go, both weapons down. Now take out the pilots. What's each guy doing? 10% faster still. Ship explodes. I get fuel missile scrap. Now I can. Which way? I, if I do that, it's a very good trick. And because I can, I don't know. I'm doing wrong button. That means that my oxygen supply can get hit. Has to be hit one more time before it goes out all across the ship, even if it's not powered. Move back, and I can leave just before they turn up. Rock or Nebula, just to show you a Nebula. Oh no, just now they say hi. Up. Not a lot, but every little helps. Yeah, it's just a massive nibbler, but they don't slow them down in this place, so you might as well go around the outside. Ooh, weapon. Settlement still loyal to the Federation Housing Ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid your escape. Ooh, there we go. What is it? Fires one missile, four damage, high breach chance. Takes up three things, so I'd have to turn off them two just to try. So if I click it, not enough system power. Turn off them. Turns one on, and I can move it around on my ship. I usually put the high ones there and the low ones there. It's probably important. I might use that next. Even though it takes longer to fire than everything else. A ship in Wheaton is just speaking message to you. So it's probably we've got a right fuel and we can't get all this power sector. Could you help us out? I've only got six. Go on, use it yet. 35 scrap. That'll buy more than. I'll buy some more if I find this. Just means I've got to rush through now. No. How about loyalists? This seems to be a very nice place for me. Let's turn that on. There we go. Now, I have two missile weapons. That one I can at least shoot. Mantis ship powers you through some. These are sacred. Ooh, okay. Land hunting range. You operate shield top. Ah, oh, no. Teleporters. Let's do that. I think that. That may look like they don't take long, but that's only because that's there and that takes so much longer to charge. They actually take the same amount of time as they before, but the bar has to get smaller to fit in with that. That's okay. Uh, sending Charlie, leave him on that so that I can actually fire these. Ah, there we go. Ooh, whoops. There we go. Luckily you only really have to get hurt enough that they want to go back. Breach. I'm kind of upset I can't see you so. There's a lot of damage. Try 
try and take out oxygen. Lucky because I'm using missiles. Their shields don't matter. One shield, two missiles, 28 scrap. Do that now. Just turn up. You really don't need that charge unless you're actually trying to heal someone. I am trying to find the store though. Probably oh, good, I've just wasted all that. Navigating the fog blinds and probably bomb holes with the with a mentor ship, they have you part this transmission will be overlooked. Nebula are very dangerous. Next time humans will die. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Doesn't take as long as he thought. Ah, uh, no, I missed. If I turn on auto fire, I don't have to aim because it will automatically shoot wherever I aim last. I've actually changed my drone. Ship explodes, leaving a substantial collection of useful sub scrap material. Fuel missile scrap. That works. Still trying to find a store though. You spot a rebel ship? No, I'm good. Oh no. Oh, damn. Double shield. They're bad. Double shields is a lot harder to get through. Piling. Have your pilot carefully explore the debris. Manually search or If you have a blue one, it means you've got a s certain person with skills or the right species. Or the right subsystem. Within the ship graveyard you find one ship that seems relatively untouched. On board you find an unconscious person taken back to the ship. Once awake he offers to join your crew. Who's that? And it's a slug. Who are very good in nebulas. Because what slugs do is they the same as humans except... I don't think it comes up here. They can see people. Teleport powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. So I can aim at the opponent, the other ship's crew, even in a nebula. nebula. What's going on? Oh, 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 just noticed that. Jesus. It don't really matter because it's a ship wide. Put that on. Directions back. Exit. Uh, no. That's the Mister Ship. Slug controlled nebula. Rock controlled sector. Let's go for these slugs. Slugs aren't that difficult to fight. Just what I wanted. Now it's going to not have it. There's only one other ship that is speaking that is showing heavy damage. Great and showing We were crippled by a band of pirates and now forced to sell our remaining value equipment. Works for me. Hull repair. That's a very good drone because it means you don't have to pay to get the ship fixed. You just use one drone part and it heals three five bits. Three two five bits. Do that. Pixel. Jump. Through the nebula we go. You arrive to the site, two slip ships in communication mode. They don't see you. Tap their comm frequency. 
You overhear the conversation and their plan to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down the target coordinates. Added a quest marker. Ooh, look, I've got a quest. And I can go there right now. You catch up with the two slug ships and they're already carrying out their raid. One is in close combat with the pirate, the other seems to be heading for a small space cache the pirate was protecting. Suddenly the first ship bursts into place and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slug. We suggest to distract the pirate vessel while we retrieve the valuables. 50-50 split. Okay. Man, the slugs know that. You turn on the power and intercept just before you can reach the car. Ha! Ah. These are a Bolton. I think they're Boltons. Ships. Oh yeah, there's the there's the crew. Thanks to my slug. These type of ships have a special shield which block even missiles and take five. I think it's five damage. The first five damage they'll hit before you even reach the other shields or anything. Which means they're quite hard to beat. Aim. Don't really work, matter where I aim. I've got missiles. I hate missiles. Oh, they didn't last long. Come on, dude. Sky, get in there. That's never going to work. I don't know why I bothered that. I've got enough spare. When the pirate looks ready to break apart, you notice this large ship has caused the loot and is preparing to jump away. Let the pirate escape and go after this slug mine ship. Yeah, I want my cut. Pirates too badly damaged to pursue you, and you catch up to a slug and follow you. Ah, of course, we would never leave without providing the agreed upon spoils. They jump up. Profits and set off. That in fact, my shields with my weapons. Ah, there you go. That's what that bing was. Troy has levelled up in shields. It's mean they charge even faster. Because if I go to Charlie, shields 10%. She, 20% faster. What's this going on? He's still on 10% of that. What's the uh, Spock pile in? I know. Evasion plus 5. I forgot about that slug. There's a slug on the shields. Sounds like a prop slug on the shields. Not enough power, one up there, one up there, one up there, there we go. Shit. Through that and that. Here we go. Now um, that charged a bit. So the person the ship has, please, your worthy alien highness, we are unarmed and seeking asylum. Your approach cost them weapons immediately spring from their ship. Oh. Wow, they're liars! Hit once.
they're being sent or anything. Oh, missiles miss. There you go, this box just now is evasion plus seven. They take out their shields. Ah, come on. It's like the most boring fight ever. Oh no. Boring until they hit me. There we go. Oops, Scotty's got better at engines. Oh, no missiles. Move that to the front then. Except what is in our stores in exchange for our lives. Hmm. I'm curious what I'll get. Fuel drone and scrap. Isn't that amazing. Let's go this way. I wanted the beamer, really. Is there any a small slug transport and its escorts emerge suddenly from the clouds and disappear again in a matter of seconds. Okay. Appeared and then disappeared. There are a number of small stations for travellers in the area. They are up and down. Only slug ships are allowed to dock to use. So it's better to avoid them. No stores here then. Explore around the beacon in our shops when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you. Scan to build a solid looking rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of you. That's a bit. This place is full of nothing! Long range beacon. Oh, there's actually a store there. A store I can use. Huge slug teleports from nowhere onto a bridge before you can. He spread his wares across the helmless branch of his. <laughs> okay. What have I got? I've only got 33, so I can't really buy much. Ah, just realised I'm out of fuel. That was lucky. You don't actually lose if you run out of fuel. You just have to fight someone or trade missiles if you're lucky. Zoltan controlled sector. This won't be fun. Zoltans are weird, because if you have them on your crew, they do this weird thing where they power whatever room they're in. And these are Enge, so. Jump into this roof of that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its Enge escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates the refusal house. Okay. Where's shield? Say that. Ah, oh, they've got a defense ring anyway. So all my missiles will just miss. This shouldn't be another really boring fight. Because all they've got are beams. that. Oh no, that goes through. That can go through a shield. Okay then, won't be as boring as I thought. Here you go, fire. Ah, then... oh, these heal as well. Just 
champ. I'm not going to do anything. Can't be lights up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. There's just who was a lure. The lure's half the time. I don't know why I keep running to him. Just realised I haven't. Bloody hell. Hit, hit, hit. There we go. I think my weapons are damaged. Thanks. Missile still comes in, it's me now. Several held up. Just want to check. Is anything like that? No. Close that and open all the doors. Put Scotty in, get some repair experience. Zoltan research. They say that researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTO. That sounds like a trap. Not falling for that. It's more expensive now, so don't throw it away. Heavy laser 2. Hey, Hermes. Stand for powerful missile. Zoltan. It's more difficult to stay in civilian to 10 hour. The borders. Okay. I need to find a store. Oh, oh no, I've got shields. <laughs> it's bad for them. Not really, Jesus. Three shields. Oh no, they've got iron. Oh, I'm so gonna lose. Someone just leveled up. Oh. 
just realized that guy turned up. Maybe not. That worked quite well. Missiles and barely any fuel. Oh no. Just do that. jump when I'm still in my ship. That's a very bad idea. I don't think it'll get rid of them. Signal, you're being told about a nearby ship. This just called was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weaponry and prepare for a fight. Of course, it was a lure. When are they not lures? I've really got to stop going to them, them distress calls. I've really got to stop, like, getting shot. Hold up. Scotty's got good at engines. Let's do that. I'm not going to get anything with him fixing it. Fixing it. I'm not getting anything. I've been blown up. Well. That happened. Uh, thanks for watching. That's my first. That was my first playthrough. I'm, I'll try a different ship for the next one. <laughs>